Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This one is going to be all about the products that I use in my hair. As you can see, I have locks and I get so many questions on a daily basis, not just on YouTube, but anywhere I go, people always say, you know, I love your hair, what do you use in it? Now, I will put this out here. I don't do anything different to my locks than any video you would see on YouTube as far as how I retwist it. You can just Google it or look it up on YouTube to see how to retwist locks. I don't do it any different. The reason why I'm able to get my hair in waves like I am, like how, you know, you see on you see here now or in other videos where you see it close up is because I have a lot of hair in the front. Typically you don't see that many people with locks their roots are a lot thinner and or it's more like medium sized locks which my my locks are medium sized in my opinion but in the front I have so much hair especially up here in the middle I, it's a little thinner right here but that just runs in my family um, but it's very very thick right here so I have to use a lot of product to kind of lay it down and that's how I'm able to get my hair just kind of laid and wavy. Um, I don't use a toothbrush sometimes I do um, depending on the type of style that I'm going for but on the regular I don't use a toothbrush you can use it if you need if you you know you want to get those waves but I do mainly think that's the products that I use in my hair to you know kind of get the way that I do now disclaimer I do use black gel I'm gonna say that right off the bat to twist my hair but because I, I know that a lot of people don't like that because of the flake the flaking and all that stuff which I'm gonna talk about but step one I do retwist every two weeks or every three weeks now I know a lot of people say that that's a lot to, I'm not even gonna get into all of that to each his own you decide what is good for you if your hair is not as strong as mine you may want to do it a lot less if you know there's different reasons why people choose to re to retwist or um, not to retwist it so I do retwist so every two weeks I wash and retwist my hair what I have been loving lately to wash to shampoo and condition it has been these two shampoo and conditioner by Herbal Essence and it's called the Sleeker the Butter Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm not particular on what I do like to use however I've noticed a big difference while using these in my hair it makes my hair very very soft and that's good for me because you know sometimes with the products we do we use um, or the weather we can make our locks which is already very thick and coarse it can make it very very dry so I love these so I would go in with the shampoo and after I'm finished washing it I'll leave a little bit of conditioner in it to just sit for I want to say maybe like five minutes and then I, I don't wash out the conditioner, I always leave it in. This isn't a leave-in conditioner, but for me it doesn't matter. So I'll just leave it in and then I'll blow dry my hair with the conditioner in it. So after I'm finished that, I then like to go in, I go in with a hair mask for my hair. This one is by Shea Moisture. It's called the Shea Moisture Manipu Honey and Marufu Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask with African Rock Big and Bam Bam Bab Oil, I think it's called. And what I like about this, two things that I really like. 10% of their sales go to fighting poverty. So it's always good when a company gets back. But what I also love about this is that I I've actually read and watched the video on the backstory of the Shea Moisture Hair Company and although I don't think they're a hundred percent natural but what I like about this particular product is that it doesn't have any sulfates, parabens, phthalates, paraffin, gluten, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no synthetic color, no DEA and of course no animal testing so that's quite a lot of things to not have for the better you know for the better of the product and it smells amazing it's, it really smells like I can't even describe it I can't, I'm bad at describing things I'm just gonna butcher it but it smells really good so just trust me but yeah so I let this sit in my hair at least overnight for me I usually take out the time um, out of like a weekend and I said that's like maybe like when I do spa day which I try to do um, twice a month I'll do the condition and all that stuff so I do it on a weekend and maybe like Friday night 
I'll, or Saturday night, I'll leave this in my hair and leave it in overnight. I noticed a change in my hair as well with this. It just makes it softer for you twisting, especially if you have, if you're really tender headed. Um, yeah, this is a really good product. I do recommend a mask because just like you would put a mask on your face to cut at the end of the week or at the end of every two weeks or a month, just to kind of really get in there and deep clean and deep cleanse and just make, make your skin feel softer. You want to do the same exact thing with your hair. That's exactly what this mask is going to do for you. Okay, so after I wash and I put my hair mask in, the day after, I'm going to go in with some oil for my hair. Now I have these two. This one, this one is the Renew and Argan Oil of Morocco extra penetrating oil for dry and coarse hair and this is kind of like liquid gold for your hair I really love the way it makes my hair feel and like it does everything that it says so it's a really good product it's good for dry and coarse hair it just moisturizes this other one that I have is Suave Professionals Moisturizing Light Oil Spray. So I'll use these two after I've shampooed and I put in my hair mask. I then go in with these two and I kind of let it sit in for just like five minutes. I just kind of want my scalp to be very, very moisturized before I start retwisting my hair. I then go in and I retwist my hair. Now here's the gel that I use. It's the Proclaim Professional Care Protein Styling Gel, just otherwise known as black gel and I use this to retwist my hair. I know a lot of people don't like this because it flakes, which is true, but I think depending on what you do to your hair or how much you put in it determines whether it flakes or not. I love the fact that it holds down the front of my hair. That's really what I need it for. I also like this one, it's Eco Professional Styling Gel. I don't like to use this often because it is white and so it will flake white if you use too much so maybe if I have my hair done and then I go out for a run and the front I start to lose um, that the waviness and I want to lay it down again then I'll use just a little bit of this but I, I won't use this all over my entire head um, any black gel for me would do this one I'm not I'm not specific on that the only black gel that I won't use is the eco style Pro eco professional styling gel the black version of this doesn't hold isn't the same one as this this one is a lot thicker and it just it makes it tighter it makes your roots tighter those are all of the products that I've been using in my hair that's how I get it really soft and really laid you guys let me know in the comment section if you have any hair mask that you use because uh, I really would like to try out some more and thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to check out my other videos that I have give this video two thumbs up for me please and subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys in another video